are composed of disproportionate lungs, composed of numb fingers, of the stillness that hushes the wind that filters through you on the most stationary of days. Would you infiltrate my thoughts once more? Would you be able to, as I journey across a curious expanse of grey, all-consuming mist and bricks of the purest shade of trodden down white, this curious expanse of faded ruins and a scenery of repetition and repetition and repetition. I'd ask of you, always, to introduce me to a room, existing only to the autumn wind, only to the rustle of curtains not quite worn out, only to a mirror that cannot seem to fashion a reflection for me, and yet captures perfectly the dust hanging in dark strands that sunlight might fill, captures perfectly every troubled breath, every knuckle forced into draining its contents as we disintegrate into loud screeching silence. As we chip and splinter into the scattered limbs you would stumble upon. It's during days, when studying you was still an acceptable pastime, that brief widening in your pupils, that split second when you would inadvertently allow your emotions to surface, that I'd ask of you to encircle me with your arms, always translucent in nature, aberrant though the gesture may be, but on days when the air would be stale and the leaves would be straining for a glimpse of what my lungs are refusing to part with, and though my vision would swim and my knees would almost buckle underneath me, I find that in some ways I'm not wholly averse to the idea that you would only ever explore me with the detachment of an analyst. You'd envelop my every nerve ending. You'd encircle every echo I've endeavored to cradle along the way, and of my memories they've incinerated, you've allowed them to. And though my subconscious pulses only with what you've offered it, falls only for the majesty of colors within you, I would not ask that you utter a thing as fraudulent, as grotesque as my very name. I'm afraid I've not ventured to corrupt you quite yet. Although you've managed to transform, managed to disfigure, to obliterate the very pillars of a universe I fashioned through that alien sting that would once linger in your eyes when the arms surrounding me would not be so translucent in nature, I find that the repetitive plaguing of my mind is always by means of the unchanged choir. Have I wronged you? Have I wronged you? But you've left me quite at a loss for words. <laughs> مشروع قلم Project Pen